Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting number 131. As always, we're recording this for those people that aren't able to be with us right here, right now. Rolling our way to the end of July. I always thought of July as halfway through. I don't know why. It's like, hey, we're halfway to Christmas. But of course, we're more than halfway to Christmas. Today's going to be a short meeting. We're going to do triage, and then we're going to call it good. Uh, as we've discussed in the past, there's going to be a lot more happening in Wix 4 in August. But right now, it's all about kind of getting our way through July. So I plowed through the agenda. Bob, you ready to do triage? He's fumbling in the background. Uh, 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 wait, way too fast. I heard your voice, so I put on my headset. Sorry, ah. I had to detangle it. <laughs> Very good. All right, off to the issues. Um, seven and one of them's already, and one's close. So I guess that's eight. Uh, here we go. Post build event does not fire and. Oh. Okay. Oh, I will update to three of that. Okay. Well, this is closed, so I guess we'll resolve it as a pallet error. What do we have for that? Um, something like that. Something like that. All right. Whatever. Visual Studio 2017. This is really annoying. There it is. All right. Um, Visual 27 ignores variable output name setting. Ah, uh, no, this is if you set it through the votive UI, it, like I think it escapes it. Because oh, it's through the UI. Like Probably. And even if it's not, you have to set the output name at the appropriate time such that platform is set before. Platform is resolved. Resolve. Right, right, right. But both of those are probably issues. But I know this will work because I've used the platform and the output name in the past. You just have to do it right. <laughs> not as true as you might think. Um, and definitely not with the UI it will escape it. So, anyway, try opening the project directly and doing it there. And then don't touch it in Visual Studio because I think that'll mess it up. Right. Um, Wix 3.11 doesn't uninstall previous version of embedded bundle during upgrade. Ah, oh, this is the log file conversation. Yes. Cool. Yeah, so this, <laughs> there was a change that I made that as far as I can tell only went into Wix 3.11, not 3.10.3. I think that was by design, um, that fixed a bug where basically if you were running, a, uh, if a bundle were run embedded at all, then it would uh, not process, uh, it would not process related actions. Wow. And that was wrong. That was wrong behavior because embedded is something distinct from being run by burn as a related bundle. Right. So I fixed that. In 3.11? In 3.11. Okay. Um, so, so it's got to be related. Um, and the good news is that it means that, you know, so part of the problem here is that this user has a has many versions of burn yeah. um, that are involved. 3.9, 3.10, 2, 3.10, 3.11. And 3 mm -hmm. um, the good news is that as you get to the sixth version, or 3.11, the version with the fix, then this should be, this will fix itself. Um, the problem is that there are previous versions out there uh, that have the issue. Now, that said, uh, the the behavior that he's saying he's getting and the logs that I asked for came in um, basically show it working as you would expect even with this behavior and it's because of the 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 burn ancestor switch um, and that's as far as I got so. Um, I will volunteer to take this and do some research and report back um, at a future meeting. Hey, we're making progress on this bug, so I'm okay with it. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's gnarly and it's kind of difficult to research because of all the different versions that are involved. Even if you just limit it to like, you know, 3.10.2 and 3.11, you're still like, you know, the behavior differences and the, uh, and the number of versions of burn, it's, sometimes it's difficult to correlate. It's just, it, because of that, it, it took me more time than, you know, I had. 
Yeah, understood. Um, Jacob, I don't think I don't think the number of versions are are really the issue. It's just there there's one particular um, change, and I, I actually I'm not sure that it's even the change that I made. There's another change in there that I think is affecting this, but it's it's probably the interaction of them. But yeah, I think basically the behavior that that he would get if all versions were the same um, on 3.11, especially, um, I think we'd be okay there. But I'm not 100% sure. Um, I mean, the good news is there are workarounds. There are easy workarounds. Um, you know, part of the the issue is that um, older versions of Burn treat the bundle as embedded um, whenever you're using the Burn protocol. Mm -hmm. So a workaround for the moment would be to just not use the Burn protocol. Yeah. Um, so I will add that um, comment. Add that comment. So there's yeah a workaround if it's critical. Cool. All right. Heat file task, not recognizing SVB6. Mm, that's entirely possible. That can go in Wix 4. X, and someone wants to work on it. Although I think the title's wrong. Is it? Well, it's it's the heat file task. It's not the task that's problematic. It's the output from... <sighs> Sorry, it's really hard to tell with the non-formatted text here. The, it looks like the task works just fine. It's heat itself, heat exe, that has changed behavior somehow. Oh, I see. You're saying that yeah, the command line is being passed here, isn't it? Yeah, it, I mean, it gets the switch. So I'm, I'm Cool. So I'm going to go hunt it and fix 4x, and if they get a fix, we can bring it in 4. Wix omits preprocessor structure with dash f. Oh, wait, if, it, if you do a fix, it starts toasting preprocessor instructions? Yeah, I ran into this with an include file that was just a bunch of, you know, if deaths and defines, and I ended up with an empty wow. include element. That's awesome. No, actually. That is quite not awesome. All right. Uh, I know you're doing work in Wix Cop. Um, you want to put this in 4? Um, I will put it in 4, and I'll... It, it sounds like you need it, right? Assign it to myself. Well, I worked around it, but okay. that is a, a short-term thing. Burn should detect when elevated process isn't actually elevated. Oh, yes, I remember this conversation. <laughs> yes, yep. if you, you have USC disabled. I don't know who does that, but yeah, I suppose. Um, and you run as a standard well, user. It's both of those yeah. things. Disabling USC it's, it's, and running as a standard user. It's Yeah, it's, it's a, it's a you know, corporate lockdown scenario. Yeah. You turn off UAC because... You, you don't need it, and right. you run as a standard user because, well, I'm the network admin, and you will bow before me. Yes. Um, all right. This could go in 4x when someone wants to do it. Mm-hmm. Okay. I agree. That would be a nice thing. To Candle 4 crashes when non-advertised class emits context. Okay. I could believe that. Uh, I can take this one. Actually, I already have a fix. So. Oh. Well, then, never mind. You can have it. I will go ahead and do that. Yeah. I expect it's not hard. Um, Wix Cop V4 should handle a short name. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. This one's a little weird. Um, in Wix 3, you can have a short name and omit name. Yes. In V4, the compiler says you can only have a short name if you also have a name. Correct, because you can't have which, anymore. right? And and yeah, and yeah. Truthfully, it makes sense even in Wix three personally. Well, it was a it was a two compatibility thing. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, uh, uh, have you do you have a fix for this one already? Since I know you've been I, in Wix Cop. No, I I, I do not. Um, I haven't. I mean, I think the answer here is you know, if there's a yeah, if short name is a. Oh wait, what is the fix here? If there is no long name, and there is no name, then short name turns into name. 
right. it, it's, it's just a little bit of logic. Um, it's it's what Wix three is doing. If you look in the file name processing for Wix three, right, it's really right, complicated right. because yeah. of handling all this, and it's like, yeah, this is just dumb. So don't do that. Well, short name, kind of dumb to begin with. Uh, well, yeah, short name and long name, but yeah, yeah. The day we figure out how to merge those two together is awesome or generate stable names for you. Cool. So, here you go. All right. As you can see, we're making progress on Wix 4. Bob is doing great work to get it up to snuff so it makes it even easier for people to move from 3 to 4. Good stuff. Good stuff. And I think we're done. Yay. No more issues. Pretty easy day, actually. Um, one thing I'm going to go back on this Visual Studio extension ignores output name setting. Jacob mentioned something that I do remember myself is that platform may not be defined early enough to be using the output name as well, and that can be kind of tricky. So it's all a matter of you know getting your getting all the ducks in a row so you can put all the variables together. So there's that. Oh, yeah, timing there is kind of sometimes tricky. All right, moving forward, anything people want to talk about? Um, like I said, not a lot this week. Um, in two weeks, hopefully, we'll be making some progress on Wix 4, although I have a tiny vacation at the first week of August that will probably suck up some of the time, but that's okay. Um, oh, there's John, not Jacob. Sorry. My bad. Um, anything else? I'm going to guess not, given the quietness of the world. Um, rolling forward, I think, like I said, I think next month will be much more exciting than uh, the last couple have been. Although, you know, we shipped Wix 3.11, which is good. So, on that note, uh, two weeks from now, we'll see all you, and uh, we'll do this again. I'll talk to you later. Bye. 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 Bye.